another useful optional feature on all hammer joint planers is a mortiser for doing slot mortising. Now here you see the setup. This is the mortiser. This is the lever for the length and depth operation. Here you see the hold down device and some more hardware components that are needed to mount the mortiser to the machine. I would like to begin with the mortising chuck and show you how that goes to the machine. Now this is a chuck with two jaws, so it's good for counterclockwise and clockwise operation. It has got a 16 mm clamping range. Uh, to put that on, we have to remove that cover first. Now, this is easy. Just unlock two bolts over here, two over here. I have already done that for you. Now take that off. Now here you see a nut. This has to come off and the mortising chuck goes on instead of. So I unlock that nut for you here and take it off. And now let's put the mortising chuck on. And in order that I don't cut myself, I use a rake. Put it on all the way till it comes to a stop. That's what I show you here. And now just lock three bolts that are arranged at the circumference here. And one over here. And another one over here. That's all you have to do. Finally, you put the cover back on, lock it with the Allen wrench here and here and on the other side. The next thing I'd like to show you is the hardware that is necessary to mount the mortiser to the machine. So we now we have, would have to mount that metal bracket to the machine, but not from the outside. It goes onto the machine from behind of that wall and then it will be fastened by two of these bolts. Now in order to hold that piece safely and securely in place, I recommend to use some kind of bolts or maybe wooden dowels that you insert into these pre-drilled holes. Because now it's a lot easier to slide that in and it's also much more comfortable to hold that in place. And now all you do is from the outside, you see, as the holes appear, you now put on the bolts, you tighten them up, the same with the second over here. And then I use an adjustable wrench. That's all you do. Finally, don't forget to put on these nuts because they are necessary to hold the slot mortiser in place. In order to make the horizontal adjustment on the machine, you need an adjustment bolt that you insert into that thread. Please make sure that the hexagon opening for the Allen wrench is on this side, as I show you here. So I insert it here. There is another nut on the other side. And now that's important. Just let it protrude about half an inch, as I show you here. That makes the fine tuning on the machine a lot easier. Now that is the easy procedure, how you put it on and uh, all you have to do now, just tighten the nuts on both ends, on both sides. Now the easiest method to level the table with the machine is if you use a regular drill bit that you insert into your mortising chuck. You tighten it here and now you wind the table up to its maximum position and with the adjustment screw over here you can now, as you can see, level the table precisely with the bit. Now we insert the lever for the length and depth operation. And there is a little Allen screw here that you have to 
tighten uh, to make sure that the lever is held safely and securely in place. And this is how the mortise works. Now, finally, the assembly of your uh, hold down device. It's very easy. It's the bolt that holds the steel bar in place. The whole thing goes into the machine here. And there we use a washer and a nut underneath. Okay, this was the whole setup. Enjoy the mortising! Many of our customers work with long and heavy pieces. And to make that easier, we recommend the table extension system. Now this table extension, on your standard configuration, only goes onto the infeed table. If you want to use that table extension on the outfeed table, you would have to mount an aluminium bar first, and that's what I'm going to show you now. This is the bar, and a couple of hardware components. It's a bolt, a bracket, a thick washer, two conical washers, and a nut. Now first I put the bracket onto the bolt and insert that into that aluminium bar. The same with the second, over here. The next step is the two thick washers. And that's how this goes onto the table. Now, the two conical washers, if you look close, closer, there is a bigger one and a smaller one. Always make sure that the conical faces match together, as I show you here. And now that thing goes onto the bolt. Now, don't tighten it all the way, just finger tight it, because you have to fine adjust it. And that's what I'm going to show you now. For the fine tuning of your aluminum bar, I have already installed the table extension, as you can see. And uh, now I use a piece of timber over here. And as you can see, we've got some work to do. This has to come up a little bit. That's what I do here. And now I just tighten the nut And finally, I double check it on this side. But I, but I can see that here we are definitely perfectly set. Okay then, your hammer, joiner planer, is a very, very precise instrument. And finally, I would like to show you how you can make that precision visible. I have replaced this nylon wheel into an aluminium wheel with a digital mechanical display gauge. Now if you see what happens here, one turn on that gauge equals 78 hundredth of an inch. One increment is about a thousandth of an inch. Now this gives you repeatability whenever you need it and it's very, very accurate. As you can see, you and your Hammer A3 can handle any challenge. This machine is extremely user-friendly and easy to set up. If you are on the market for a quality jointer planer, definitely give the Hammer A3 a closer look. Thanks for watching and enjoy your woodworking.